Hello, I have here is a Skull Candy Player One wireless gaming headset, and I have a problem where the wireless gaming headset uh, is not was not able to power on anymore. And what happened is uh, when you uh, connect and reconnect uh, your audio port from your 2.5 millimeter jack or your USB or any unknown circumstances, uh, your uh, uh, your wireless headset will lock itself out and you won't be able to power this on and to pair it with the, um, the, the transmitter. So I found a way and some technique that I did to be able to make this uh, work again, to be able to power on. So I can't recommend that this technique will work for you, but you can give it a shot and see if it works for you. This has happened to me three times. It locked up on me and I wasn't able to power it on. So I emailed uh, Skull Candy, and this is what they um, replied back to me. They say, it seems that your headset may have become stuck or locked up and will not power on. So in order for you to troubleshoot this issue, we need to get your headset powering on again. So it's very important that you go uh, download the, um, the firmware from Skull Candy. This software will also help you uh, re-update your um, wireless headset and your transmitter. So what you need is a two, two mini USB cables, uh, just like here. One connect to your um, transmitter and one for your wireless gaming headset. So go ahead and connect this and I'll show you what happened when you connect it to the computer. Okay, so I got that end connected. So I'm going to connect this to the computer port. Okay, did you hear that uh, uh, computer noise? It, uh, that's a confirmation showing that Windows 7, 8, or 9, or 10, if you have any of those, uh, it shows you that uh, the computer recognizes the, the device. Uh, but if you were to connect this to the computer port, you might not hear the confirmation noise, or the light might not turn on at all. So if that happens to you, then you have a couple of choices that you can do. But if the light turns on or your computer is able to recognize it, then I highly recommend you keep it the way it is. Okay, as you see here, when I connect this to the PC, this light turns on. And when I connect this to the PC, this light turns on. So you should be able to hear uh, the, the confirmation noise from this one or this one. But sometimes you might not be able to hear any noise from the headset. But if the light turns on, you're still good. So sometimes if, you're, if your connector, if you connect to the PC, try different outlets and connectors, the back or the front or the side, anywhere that, that you have the USB port. Try a different slot. Uh, you might be able to have success uh, by bringing out that light. But I was able to bring out from here. So once you got the light on, I highly recommend you download the software and go ahead and install it. Double click that. And then, see? Now, it detected both devices the transmitter 109 headset and transmitter 109 headset 33. I have already updated my, uh, my uh, Skull Candy wireless headset already, but let me show you again just to, uh, for, for information and reference. So now it says to not disconnect. It's gonna install the firmware to um, to the headset and then to the transmitter. So let's see what happened. All right, it says device has successfully updated and uh, upgraded to the firmware and you're good to go. Uh, so go ahead and close it. And now it tells you that you have to pair it to your, um, your you have to pair your headset to your transmitter. So all you need to do is, um, let me show you. Uh, all you need to do is this is the power button here and the power button in the back 
uh, here. So all you need to do with both hands, uh, press and hold those two power buttons at the same time for three seconds. And this light will, will turn white, uh, blink, blink one time white, and then it's gonna blink a solid yellow. And then that means that the, the headset is paired with the transmitter. And if that happens to you, you're good. All right, here's some troubleshooting tip that might work for you. Uh, do this at your own risk. Uh, I can't guarantee it, uh, that it will work and please do not hold me liable for any damages that you may occur to your um, wireless gaming headset. Um, I one time put this in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer for a couple of hours, two, three to four or five hours once. And when I brought it back, uh, while it was still cold, I connect the connector to here and to my PC and miraculously the light turned on. I do not know why putting this in the freezer is a good idea. Um, maybe I was thinking that the battery was hot and it was dying. So I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to have to freeze it up and after it's done um, uh, freezing and it's cold, I'll bring it back out and I'll try to uh, stick the USB in uh, and, and hoping the voltage would jump start or, or kick start the, um, the wireless headset. You know, almost like um, a paramedic having those, you know, that little two shocker, uh, what's, what's it called? Fubulator, refubulator? Yeah, and to jump start this little um, device. And, and, and uh, sometimes it did and uh, it worked. Sometimes if you have a, a higher power source, maybe a 1.0, 2.0 volts, uh, it might help jump start it. So that's my theory. So I don't really know what's going on or what happened. Uh, maybe the frequency inside probably got interfered or mixed up or got short circuit somewhere. So but that's something where Skull, Skull Candy has the answer to and I, and I don't. Uh, sometimes if that doesn't work, try connecting many different um, USB port uh, that might have different uh, voltage uh, outlet. Some are 1.4, 2.0 um, uh, voltage or maybe use um, one of those um, phone charging uh, plug like from the Samsung or I, uh, not iPhone but a Samsung uh, the, the one of those port or um, or uh, the third time that that happened to me that I wasn't able to turn this on I uh, it took me about maybe two to three hours trying to turn this on I connected to my computer it didn't work I connected to the back I tried the power, any type of power source, it did, it did not work. It did, the light did not turn on. And I didn't hear any confirmation noise or, or anything like that. But um, some odd reason, there is a uh, USB port in the back of my TV. There's two of them. Um, I connected to one of them, did not turn on. But the other one, when I connected it, the light miraculously turned on. And I was very happy. So I, I disconnected reconnect the wire to the PC, did the firmware update, and um, uh, the PC was able to recognize it, and I was good to go. Uh, but here's another troubleshooting um, tip. Uh, sometimes if you, sometimes if you double click this, and click yes, you might have a screen that says no device detected. Uh, you might have that uh, it might happen to you a couple of times. Uh, or the, one time it happens to me five or six times, and and eventually it was it, it was able to to recognize the device. So just keep trying. Uh, you or you can also go to control panel. And let me bring up my go to hardware and sound device devices. And if you see here. If you were to uh, disconnect my uh, your transmitter, see you heard that confirmation. It it disconnects. So if you were to connect it, there you go. It it, um, it recognizes it. So your wireless headset, same way. So see it disappears. So when you connect it, uh, Windows should be able to recognize it. But sometimes if if Windows doesn't recognize the wireless your wireless headset, but the light is on. Just try to try to um, just try to 
uh, let's try to update the firmware and let's see if it will, will recognize it. So let's try a couple times and see if that will work for you. And that's about it and um, uh, good luck with that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And for more videos, click subscribe.